Why do we make bad decisions? The anchoring effect described by Daniel Kahneman. What if I told you that throwing a few random numbers into a conversation can influence the listener's perception of reality? Let's do an experiment, the same as the one conducted by professors Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky. Imagine a wheel of fortune with numbers from 1 to 100. Let's say you spin it and your score is 65. Write it down. Then answer the following questions. Is the number of African countries that are members of the United Nations higher or lower than the number you have just written down? What do you think is the actual number? The next question is, what percentage of the United Nations are countries located in Africa? I'll give you the answers in a moment, but try to do this exercise now. Are you ready? Write it down. Now I'll explain what this experiment is all about. The first answer doesn't matter much, but the most common answer to the second question was 45%. What's the point of this test? The Wheel of Fortune is set so that of all available numbers between 1 and 100, the arrow lands only on one of the two numbers, 10 or 65. Of course, there are several components related to these two questions, but the results of our research reveal that the people who got 10 on the wheel most commonly answered 25%, and for the people who got 65, the most common answer was 45%. It is obvious that by turning the wheel of fortune, we would not be able to obtain any useful information, even if it wasn't rigged. A random number never provides useful information, but all the test participants proved to be influenced by it, especially in the first question, where it is related to the number obtained from the wheel of fortune. The anchoring effect happens when someone is asked to compare a specific number to an unknown value and is then asked to estimate that specific value. This is one of the truths of modern cognitive psychology. The answers are always close to the number given in the first part of the question, and according to Daniel Kahneman, there is no rational explanation for this effect. The anchoring effect can powerfully impact our lives, particularly in these three areas. Purchasing decisions, financial decisions, and political decisions. We make purchase decisions many times in our lives, and let's imagine purchasing a home. Your perception of the value of a house presented in an ad can be strongly influenced by the initial price of the house. Let's say the house is offered for $300,000. Immediately you think, this house is too expensive. Yes, it's luxurious and comfortable, but I can't pay more than 200000 at that price, it would be a bargain. However, if the same house were offered for 150000 you would probably think it was too cheap and that there was something wrong with it which the seller wasn't telling you. If you were the seller, which scenario would you prefer? How could you use this anchoring mechanism to influence and rationalize a potential buyer's decision? The same thing happens with used cars. We automatically look at the age and mileage of a car. But there are cars with 500,000 kilometers that are in better condition than cars with 180,000. There are more important factors that affect the quality of a car than its age or mileage. A snap decision rooted in the anchoring effect is usually not the most optimal. Marketing messages are written in such a way that they provide us with incomplete information to give the perception of a more valuable product. Take the pointless battle for the most megapixels in mobile phone cameras. The numbers look great on an ad, but there are other factors that are much more important, such as image processing speed and capability. Many mistakes are made when estimating in areas outside of our expertise. If we make these estimates in a hurry, we're likely to make wrong decisions or errors when selecting our purchases. The anchoring effect is usually negative in financial decisions. If you're running a small business, you may underestimate the difference between fees of 1.5% or 2.2% on credit card payments. After a year, you may find that you're paying the equivalent of a good holiday as a result of that decision. 
Likewise, when a financial advisor promises you a life of pleasure with a few thousand that you put into an investment account systematically, you may overestimate the potential payout because of random numbers thrown in your face by the rep. It is also easy to manipulate our political opinions by taking certain values out of context and relating them to a specific thesis. For example, knowing the number of participants in a march or protest determines its success or failure. At the same time, devoting $44 million to education sounds more generous than saying that we're devoting 2.52% of the total budget to education. There is no rational explanation for this anchoring effect, but it is a fact and it influences our decisions. Random numbers presented in creative ways influence our thinking and behavior. Knowing this effect, you can use it to your advantage and avoid being anchored. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like it and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss the new ones. And as always, be extraordinary.